Last year, I tested an in-ear translator made by a Shenzhen-based startup named Timekettle that resembled a chunkier version of Apple's AirPods. They worked well, particularly impressing me with its ability to understand Cantonese, but required both parties to put on the earpiece, which, let's face it, is an awkward thing to ask of a total stranger in a foreign country. The same startup is back with another take, but now in a far smaller package that can cram into the credit card sleeves of a wallet. Named the Zero and retailing for $99, this new update takes the form of a small smartphone dongle that measures 40mm by 17mm by 7.2mm and weighs 6.6 grams. There are versions with USB-C for Android and Lightning for iPhones, and downloading the companion Timekettle app available on both Apple and Google's App Store is required. Using it is as simple as plugging in the Zero, then turning on the app. There are over 40 languages and 90 accents supported, including just about all the major ones like English, Chinese both Mandarin and Cantonese, Spanish, German, Japanese, Korean, Arabic and more. Pick your language and the language to which you want to translate, tap a button on the app, and speak. The translated words or sentence comes out in a timely manner, 2 to 5 seconds, and shows up on the app in written form and verbal pronunciation out the phone's speaker. That's the most direct, basic method of use. There's a smarter way to use the Zero, letting Timekettle's AI software detect languages on the fly, meaning you don't have to pre-select two languages. This could be useful if you have no idea what the other person is speaking, or if there is a third person speaking a third language. You don't even have a to tap a button to indicate you're speaking, it can pick up voices automatically. From my testing, this works only half the time. Often the app confuses when I've stopped speaking and when the other person begins speaking. I'd suggest sticking with the more direct method for a smoother process. The translation works well. English and Mandarin Chinese pickup have very high accuracy, while Spanish and Japanese worked quite well, too, according to friends who speak the language. As usual, it's the app's ability to understand Cantonese that impresses, because it's a slang-heavy language with many informal words. The translation is mostly accurate from what I can see, with the seldom inability to pick up context that even Google's own highly funded translation software can't figure out. An internet connection is required unless the user pre-downloads language packs. Once downloaded, the Zero can work without an internet connection. And despite its small size, the Zero contains four microphone arrays for omnidirectional voice pickup, and a software algorithm that filters out ambient noise and low-frequency hums from air conditioners. This works flawlessly in quiet indoor settings, and decently well in busy Hong Kong streets.